so let me ask you a question too. Uh, you were the first African American to own a grocery store in South Carolina. Yes, sir. A major one. What kind of advice would you give to folks who are, you know, blazing the trail for themselves? I would say number one to be honest, and and um, and up front. Uh, I don't tell anyone this. I just do it. Mm -hmm. I operate with I operate with biblical principles. Yes. And uh, and uh, when you when you do it that way, you can treat you, you you realize you're in charge, but then you know how to treat people. I try and keep my ears open to listen. Yes, sir. And um, mm, that's and, good. And, and build a team. And build yeah. a team. And at yes, the end sir. of the day, you know my success leads to their success. You're meeting a need in an area that is visible. Without uh, your store, it would be easy to consider parts of your area a food desert. So I've always said that one of the ways to succeed in life, uh, I think Zig Ziglar, a uh, motivational speaker back in the day said, if you will help everybody else get what they want, you will guarantee you get what you want. So right. <laughs> you are actually meeting the needs and, and you've solved the problem of food uh, in a place that could be considered a food desert, but your right. your acumen and your entrepreneurship is meeting a need. It, how important is that to you as a person and how important to the community is that from your perspective? Well, uh, well to me as a person, it, it's very important. It's, it's fulfilling. Yes. As well. Uh, and and it, it's, uh, if I can put it in the right word, it, it, it goes beyond the, the financial aspect of it. It's, it's like you're, you're there for an entire community, whether they recognize it or not. I, I created Opportunity Zones because uh -huh. I grew up in poverty. I, I grew up in a single parent household and I wanted to bring resources back to the communities that I came from so that those kids would look into the future and mm. see hope. Uh, you, sir, are providing hope for so many people. You have mm. uh, you have placed your business in an opportunity zone. You have succeeded beyond uh, at least many people's wildest imaginations. And what you just said is the best is yet to come. It is, it is, it is. L let me just say, Gary, to you, uh, thank you for joining us for our Calhoun County tour. You have made this fun, you have made it faith-filled, and you have made it about entrepreneurship.